Chief of the Army Staff General Ashfaq Parvez Kiani has ruled out the possibility of an immediate unilateral U.S. military offensive in North Waziristan, saying the Americans will have to think 10 times before going for this. Let's go across to Shafiq who's joining us in the story. Shafiq, at this point of time, it's very clear that it's a warning being given to the United States by Pakistan. Yes, in fact, it seems to be a, a hard word used by the Pakistan Army Chief General Ashfaq Parvez Kiani to the uh, uh, to the report of deployment of U.S. forces across the border close to North Afghanistan tribal region. In fact, it was the, for the first time that the uh, standing committees of defense of the parliament was asked to come to the uh, Pakistan Army headquarters in Rawalpindi, and it was briefed by Major General uh, uh, Ashfaq Nadim, who is the Director General of Military Operation. The, 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 language, the words used by General Ashfaq Parvez Kani is very clear. He said that there is very thin chances of unilateral strike uh, from Afghanistan to the tribal region of Pakistan, but he warned that Pakistan is a nuclear country and and U.S. will have to think 10 times before doing this. So the, the language is very strong. But at the same time, the, the, uh, during the briefing, the, uh, the Major General Ashfaq Adeem said that they have already informed the Americans that going to the North Waziristan tribal region will not serve any purpose if the, the military operation against the Akani network in North Waziristan All right, will All right, Shafiq, stay with us. Let's also go across to Brigadier Mahmood Shah, who's joining us on the phone line. Sir, at this point of time, there is a clear warning being given by Pakistan. He's threatening the United States. How will this go on? How will this pan out now? I think it's uh, not a uh, warning. Uh, the army chief was uh, uh, briefing the um, uh, standing committee for defense from the National Assembly. And uh, there he remarked when somebody asked that, uh, uh, are there any chances that the U uh, U.S. might cross the uh, part of our border uh, into North Pakistan? Uh, to which uh, he replied, that I think U.S. will have to think 10 times before doing that because it's going to expand the war uh, from Afghanistan into the whole region because Pakistan is not going to take that lying down and it's going to uh, uh, react to that. And if that happens, then it will be literally considered as attacking Pakistan. And if the U.S. attacks Pakistan, you can imagine it can... Uh, pull in uh, China in the long term and probably Iran also uh, because uh, this is going to change the complete dynamics within this region. Also at this point of time there is a question that the U.S. will use drones to target sir, the Haqqani network and the ground forces will stay on at the Afghan border for backup. Do you believe as a defense analyst that such reports are true? Uh, I don't think that uh, neither Pakistan is going to cross the part of Afghan border uh, in pursuit of the um, attackers who are attacking our post, and uh, nor is U.S. going to do that. Uh, we hope that this will not happen, but of course, within Afghanistan territory, uh, they can target, uh, and they, ha they should have done it much earlier, the so-called Haqqani network. Uh, this is a new narrative that the U.S. has started, although Haqqani has been there for ages, even he was there before the Taliban and the U.S. has been carrying out negotiations. And if those negotiations have failed and they want to uh, target Haqqani network, they can do that within the Afghanistan territory, but on that pretext they cannot cross past, uh, past, uh, Pakistan borders. Then they were nourished, financed and equipped and trained by the CIA. And uh, now most of them, because Rajuddin Akani said in Afghanistan about a couple of weeks ago that we are in Afghanistan and we feel more free because Afghanistan is liberated 80% uh, 80, 80 and we are here. Now when they ask Pakistan to take action against any militant nest, leave it to Pakistan to decide how they can eliminate it. But if you force them and malign them, and a person no less than their chairman, giant chief of staff, Admiral Mullen, blames Pakistan government and Pakistan intelligence agencies and army, then of course that means that we are not on one frequency. 
and if you are not on one frequency then you are trying to pursue your goals and we know what are our interests and we are pursuing ours. So therefore I think at the end of the day they have to sit together the regional countries and decide how they should move forward and remove the mistrust that presently exist.